and we will make America great again. Donald Trump's ideas aren't just different. They are dangerously incoherent. Such a nasty one. He's saying things that we all feel. Raw trademark. You called it the I gold standard. About, well, I hope You called I, it the... What a time to be alive. I mean, I, like many other kids my age, are undergoing this huge shift because within the next year, we are either going to be out of our parents' house, on our way to college, or down another path. Either way, it's going to be our responsibility to be socially and politically aware. And while this is indeed terrifying, it's also incredibly exciting because it's now our voices being heard and it's our opportunity to be part of the system. And that's big. We should be excited. But the fact of the matter is, is that it's hard. It's hard to be excited, and it's even harder to be passionate, because whether you're Republican or Democrat, both candidates are incredibly flawed, and therefore it's hard to truly cast a vote for either one and feel good about it. And this lack of enthusiasm is hard for everybody, but it's especially hard for us first-time voters. And today I had the opportunity to sit down and talk to a few kids about how they feel about this election. And as you can imagine, they had quite a bit to say. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Who would you be voting for? I would probably be voting for Hillary Clinton. Uh, Donald Trump. Oh, Hillary. <laughs> probably Donald Trump. Without doubt, um, Hillary Clinton. I would be voting for Donald Trump. So why are you voting for this candidate? The candidate is not Donald Trump. That, that's, that's my first prerequisite for this candidate. They're not Donald Trump. Uh, uh, besides that, her policy issues are solid. The only reason why there's such a uh, tug of war in this uh, campaign is because of her lack of integrity, her lack of uh, trustworthiness, and I think that has a lot to do with how people are looking at her. Hillary Clinton, she for me represents corruption, um, and I think Donald Trump represents the opposite as uh, anti-establishment, and that's something that I um, I admire about him. This whole election, is, it's kind of what we were discussing actually the last hour, isn't about who we like the most, and it hasn't been that way for a few years. It's about who we dislike the least, and I really just don't agree with Hillary Clinton and her ethics, just the kind of person she is, just really turns me away from her as a voter. I would vote for Hillary because Gary Johnson and Jill Stein are just unrealistic starting off. Jill Stein doesn't know a lot about policies. If you read in depth in her policies, they aren't accurate, they aren't realistic, etc, etc. Um, Gary Johnson is just not an intelligent person, so that's a no. Um, <laughs> Donald Trump, uh, too many words to explain why he's not, like, at all. Like, he's, he's too irresponsible, he's too ignorant, all that kind of stuff. And Hillary, I feel as if, is the most prepared for the presidency. She's the most eloquent, no matter where she goes, almost. Um, you can tell that she knows her stuff. Even though she does have a lot of problems, she's the best choice. Mr. Trump is a, a terrifying individual, so in, that, in my mind there's no choice. I believe that he actually wants to better the country while specific other candidates want them for their own motives. Would you consider your political views similar to those of your parents? My parents are, I would consider them to be more liberal than me. I did have similar views to my parents, but I kind of, as I got more into politics, I kind of followed my own views and my own thoughts uh, as my kind of intelligence about politics evolved. Mm, not my dad. <laughs> no, me and my dad argue a lot on politics. Um, my mom, though, yeah, generally, we're kind of on the same wavelength. Um, to a certain degree, yes. Uh, my parents are, uh, well, they were they were raised in an extremely conservative environment, but when they moved to the city, they became more liberal. Um, my mom is from Germany, and Germany is an extremely liberal country these days, so she kind of brought that. Um, but I became a bit more moderate because I, you know, I I hate being simply a member of a party, like just a member of a party, and like blindly following all policy. My parents aren't very political. I, I would say I was raised in more of a democratic household, but uh, as I aged and started getting more into politics, I became more conservative. Do you think you've learned anything from this election? 
This election has opened my eyes to three types of people. This election has opened my eyes to people that are highly misinformed, who don't know anything, and because they don't know anything, they accept anything. And a lot of times, people like that are accepting people like Trump, that think he is a suitable uh, person to be the President of the United States. Or they're so misinformed that they just vote for Clinton because her last name is Clinton. Or they're so misinformed they vote for her because she's a woman and the United States needs a woman leader. The second type of person I've met or I've become enlightened to that I've learned from this campaign is that there are people that are prejudiced. They have their preferences based off of stereotypes and um, people like Donald Trump uh, are, you know, is a man of prejudice who is a uh, has a take has a stereotype especially with latinos um and thinks they're all rapists and thieves but then there's a third type of person that has opened my eyes in this election and that is that some people are downright racist and don't even know it and this election has shown me those type of people whether they are in my classroom whether they're in my community whether they're in my church uh, whether they're in my uh, religious community there are some people who are racist um and, and, and don't even acknowledge that part of them that is racist. Uh, but th that's what Donald Trump is. He brings out the truth and Americans. Whether Hillary or Trump gets in, I'm not too worried about it. I think that, um, that we have such a good system set up in our country um, through our checks and balances and, and everything else. Um, but maybe in I wouldn't say the near future, but yeah, definitely maybe like a few generations ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'd be worried about that. I feel like this election really is a game changer because they're going to have a lot more wild personalities coming out. You're going to have a lot. I feel a lot of anti-establishment is coming out of this election, like a lot of down with the government, down with corruption. And like in political ads, you hear very specifically career politicians because they're associated with greed and with corruption. So. Following this election, there's going to be a lot of like corruption checks and I feel like for a while there's going to be a lot of things coming out with people who are corrupt and things that they have done and then maybe it'll get better. I don't know. I think it really highlights some of the key flaws in our system. Cool. Uh... Let's see. And I just believe that if China looks at us, or if any other country looks at us, if uh, Russia looks at us, and they see that man as being the face of the American people, we are going to be the disgrace of the world. And we may be the superpower of the world now, but we are going to surely die slowly with a cancer called Trump, and it's going to kill us.